Ho ho gamers, how's it going? It's me, your boy Waddles. Welcome back. Today is the day that we're leveling up. Hey, yeah, at least temporarily. Because the thing that we're working on in today's video, it's not gonna work once 1.16 updates. Big disclaimer, that's right, you heard me right. What we're talking about today, zero tick farms, will not apply in the 1.16 update. If you're watching this video after the nether update released, if your nether looks cool, the stuff in this video, it doesn't work. Hey, you can watch the video, you can leave a like, but don't build the farm. It's not gonna work. So, I've been thinking about covering this topic for a while. I even asked you guys on Twitter if you guys would like to see the topic. A majority of you guys over on Twitter voted yes, and I kind of like the idea of using one of these farms in the world to get a little bit more bamboo. So today, we're going to talk all about zero tick farms. If you enjoy today's video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe for more if you haven't subscribed yet. We're in episode 80. That means there's been 79 episodes before this episode. They're all really cool, uh, and I definitely recommend them check them out if you haven't checked them out yet so today this whole area over here is going to change completely now once we update this world to 1.16 the farm that we're building in today's episode unfortunately it's not going to work and uh this farm that we built earlier on in the series isn't going to work either that's of course the afk fish farm i figured if we're going to build something that isn't going to work well one we'll make it look good we'll put it in a good looking building and two we'll put it near the other thing that's not going to work eventually so soon we'll pretty much have this whole like dead zone over here of things that just don't work it's going to be kind of weird but it is what it is it's rewind time gamers remember when we set this monorail up way way long time ago i think maybe like episode 10 or something well when i set it up i planned on doing a big train station right over here uh if you take a look around there's there's no train station right now on this platform it's kind of been sitting here unused a little bit of an eyesore for a long long time today we're gonna actually tear this thing down we'll do a train station later maybe big maybe this space right here is really really good space and i think we can make it look a whole lot better if we actually put a building in so we're gonna start today's episode by actually tearing this whole platform platform down now while i tear this platform down i think it would be a good idea to start breaking down and talking about zero tick farms to fully understand a zero tick farm first you need to understand zero tick what does zero tick mean and to fully understand what zero tick is first you'll need to understand what zero and tick is zero we already know gamers we're big brain here you know what that is if you don't know what it is well i'm sorry it's a secret can't tell you but a tick i can definitely tell you what that is a tick is a measurement of time basically you can think of it as something like a minute a second kind of like that so a tick is basically minecraft's unit of time the game works off of ticks every tick the game does something that thing, well, that could be a lot of different things. We're talking things like spawning mobs, moving mobs, taking care of your health and your hunger, and even growing plants in the game. Uh, keep that in mind. Uh, that's what we're going to need today. If we want to get even more specific with things, dive into the details, 20 ticks happen every single second. So that means one tick happens every 0.05 seconds. A tick is very, very brief. So that's what a tick is. Now, what is a zero tick farm? Well, a zero tick farm works off of something called a zero tick pulse or a zero tick signal. The signal is created when you power and unpower a sticky piston in the same tick. Imagine that you just powered a piston, then unpower it really, really quick. That's what a zero tick pulse is or a zero tick signal is. And finally, that brings us to a zero tick farm. What is a zero tick farm? Well, a zero tick farm is a farm that tricks something into happening, in our case today, growing, using a zero tick pulse. These farms, they're pretty OP. In fact, they're so OP that, again, they're being removed in Minecraft 1.16. So if you want to check them out, you need to check them out now, like today. So zero tick farm. That's what a zero tick farm is. All right, so the building, the old platform, it's gone. It's history. I did this with the rail line for now. I don't know, though. I might actually end up just removing this in a little bit, too. It might end up being in the way. So over here is the guardian farm, the ink farm. This thing has been running. It's really, really good. I've actually come over to this thing every once in a while, too, and taken ink sacks out. It's really, really good. I like this farm. So the building. We don't really have a lot of space here, but I think we'll have enough space. We could probably put, like, the back of the building maybe... 
uh, maybe like over here and that would save us some room for some plants near the target and then we could put the zero tick farm inside of the building maybe facing this way and have a road go right along the water here so we can actually see the ink farm and get over to it easily I never really liked how it was kind of tucked behind the platform it kind of made it feel like you know unimportant it was basically hidden all right, Elite, so now that we know what a zero-tick farm is, it's time to build one of these things. The materials that you need for a zero-tick farm actually aren't very much. Now, today, we'll be building a zero-tick farm for bamboo, of course, but you can make a zero-tick farm for cactus and sugarcane as well. If you're going that route, you'll need some different materials, but the materials are all still pretty much the same. Now, today's design is actually based off of a really cool design by Avamance. I'm gonna go ahead and drop Avamance's video link down in the description. Elites, do your guy a favor go over to avo and tell him he's elite tier drop it in the comments of that video thank you okay so materials they're all laid out inside of this chest you'll also need some building blocks we're gonna do iron and then glass i'm cooking up the glass right now so we're actually gonna build this thing from the bottom up that means we need to start with the chest the hopper the rail and the hopper minecart now the rail is something that can actually come off of this thing once it's done we're gonna probably just leave it on the build today but you could remove it after so start with a the chest then on on top of that just place a hopper going down into it then on top of that a rail and then finally your minecart with the hopper in it right on top of it but uh uh, wait, you don't push it off. It, it needs to stay right on top of it. Perfect, just like that. The hopper minecart sits right on top of the hopper. This is how we're going to pick up all of the bamboo that this farm is going to produce. Now, this rail, like I said, you could remove it, you could leave it there, whatever you want to do. You could also put trap doors or blocks around this minecart to stop it from moving. Next, we're going to need to place a building block right behind the hopper like that. Temporary block there, permanent block, permanent block right there, and then remove the temporary block. Now it's redstone time, at least kind of. Redstone torch right there, and redstone torch right there. Now it's piston time. You'll need two normal pistons. One goes right there, and then another one goes right there. On top of those pistons, you'll need a normal solid block, a block that can conduct redstone though. So something like an iron block, if you're rich, hey, like your guy, that'll work. Now on top of both of those blocks, one more normal piston. So normal, no, normal, yeah, just like that, perfect. Scaffolding, you're, you're kind of a problem sometimes not gonna lie uh, anyways normal piston right there now we have this this is looking pretty good next up we'll need our redstone dust our lever and our two sticky pistons so the sticky pistons go in between the two pistons facing towards the middle so one sticky piston right there and then one sticky piston right here these sticky pistons are really the heart the power the control of the zero tick farm back here we'll place a lever and turn it on so the redstone torches they turn off redstone dust right there redstone dust right there now we need our plantable blocks the coarse dirt you technically don't need it you could do normal dirt that would work you could do sand if you wanted sand as well you'll want to place one in the middle and then one on either side of it that side or that side it doesn't matter at all finally we need a way to actually harvest the bamboo that will be growing in this farm so to harvest it we can set up a simple observer piston harvesting system observer looks down at one of the redstone dust which one doesn't matter then you do a solid block right on top of it right next to it we do a piston right down here another solid block this block you technically don't need it right here this is just to hold things in we might change it and do something that looks a little better but then again iron looks pretty good now finally we're gonna want to build some blocks around where our bamboo will go because otherwise bamboo is going to be thrown everywhere so we'll take some glass and we'll do glass right here going up three blocks and then we'll just build it all the way around here don't cover the hopper minecart though go in front of it so when you're done with this thing it's gonna look something like this you have a two wide section in here and then another glass goes up there now bamboo time so we place one bamboo right here and then we place another bamboo on top of it to get it started you need to do this if you don't do this it's not going to work then you can go ahead and break this thing right there now if we go ahead and go back here and turn it on with this lever we're gonna get a lot of noise that's loud so we're gonna walk away we're just gonna walk away we're gonna walk far away maybe like over here should be good this thing is now running and would you take a look at that look at all of that bamboo being thrown out of that thing that thing is an absolute machine so how does it work Ian, my boy, you're gonna have to be a little nice right now. I, I need to stand over here to talk, okay, Ian? You, you stay chill. So, as you can see here, we have the two sticky pistons, the ones on the left and the right, pushing the coarse dirt back and forth very, very quickly. The pistons that are above and below each sticky piston are causing block updates. Basically, when those pistons push forward, the sticky pistons update. When the sticky pistons update, they push the blocks, but they're updating and then retracting immediately. 
zero tick farm. So really the zero tick farm is everything that doesn't involve the observer and that top piston. The observer in the top piston is simply a harvesting piston. That piston up there is harvesting the bamboo as soon as it grows and breaking it so it can be picked up by that hopper minecart, which then gets the items pulled out of it by the hopper and put inside of that chest at the bottom of this whole machine. Long story short though, normal pistons update sticky pistons, sticky pistons power and retract very quickly, and move the dirt back and forth. When the dirt is moved, the bamboo is tricked into updating and it grows. When it grows, that top piston harvests it and boom, zero tick farm it's good but it's also really really noisy so we're gonna turn it off just like that now if you want to make this a cactus farm put sand there get rid of that back block so you can put a cactus there and it should work fine if you want to make this a sugarcane farm then you're gonna need a little bit more modification on this boy but you could technically do it you'll need to somehow get water next to where you're growing the sugarcane now bamboo what do we have from that short time Ah, uh, well we have four stacks of bamboo hey that is uh pretty good <laughs> not bad at all and then there's a little bit more bamboo in there and i don't think there should be okay there's a little bit inside of the hopper too it looks like we have a little bit of locking going on not a problem at all so this is our beautiful beautiful farm now we need a building for it the building i'm thinking we're gonna go with a pretty simple town -y style if you will i'm thinking stone bricks oak logs uh, oak planks well actually no, no 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 i'm thinking stone bricks oak planks and spruce logs i think that'll be really good so the back of this building will be over here i think i'd like to do too high with the stone bricks i think that should look pretty cool then on the corner we could do something like that other corner right here same deal something like that then this continues out this way now uh the farm is four blocks deep but i'm thinking that we'll go five here we'll keep things odd so then we could do like a window there or something cool then well of course go ahead and do another corner beam right there corner beam right there and then this goes towards the front this doesn't leave us with a lot of room but i think we can work with it unless i want to move things over hmm Ah, uh, you see, you see, you see. I kind of want to move things over. I think I'm going to actually disassemble this whole thing, move it back like two blocks because I want more room over there. I was thinking about doing like a covering and then like more of a road here. Yeah, this thing has to move because we have uh, we have the desert city over there too. And this road was going to go over to it eventually. All right, all right. So that's what I'm thinking. But then up on top of all of this, we're going to do oak planks and then some kind of cool like window thing and like an awning on the front. But uh yeah then this building i think it'll be a little bit longer so we'll have an entrance over here the zero tick farm is right next to it and oh wait we're gonna need a way to turn this on and off too we'll need an access spot that won't be too difficult i'll be able to figure it out all right so i gotta move the zero tick farm now because i built it in the entirely wrong spot not a big deal though i'll be right back Okay, so here's what I've got right now. We have the mossy stone brick, stone brick combination on the base, mossy stone brick looking beautiful as always, and then beams, pillars, I meant, I meant pillars, going all the way up on the sides. This building is gonna be pretty small, it's gonna be pretty compact. Now inside we have the zero tick farm. I actually went ahead and moved it back and also lowered it down one block into the ground. So now, instead of this going like straight down, we have it going forward. The plan is to maybe, uh, probably, definitely string more chests coming off of this one, going down into the ground a little bit of a ways, kind of like we have in the AFK fish farm. So, uh, first off, I'm thinking that the door over here should probably pop out. I think that would look pretty good. So instead of the wall being over here, we'll have it out here. And then this part of the wall will be cobblestone all the way up to wherever it ends. Maybe we do like a separate awning there. I'm not too sure. On the front, I'd love to do some sort of kind of like banner walkway covered thing. You know, something like this. I, I think that could be cool. Then, of course, on it, we'll do some stripes. We'll go with lime green concrete because uh, bamboo is like this lime color so i think that'll look good that'll go like that and that maybe maybe we, we might change it later but that's kind of what i'm thinking we'll leave it there for now just to get the concept in maybe it might look better if we did carpet i'm not too sure i'll have to go back over to the desert city and take a look i know we did this in the desert city somewhere and it looks good over there so i'll just have to see what i did so the sides though this is where things start to get a little bit weird i'm thinking that we might want to come in with some upside down oak staircases first i said upside down oak staircases first like that and then i'm thinking like a big window in there that could be pretty cool we could also maybe even put like an arch on the window that might make things look even more cool 
over here though we have something that's kind of weird so if we're gonna do this covering in here we won't have much room for a window on the front uh do i need a window on the front no not really especially if i put that there so maybe maybe that answers the question but at the same time i kind of don't know over here i'm thinking we should definitely definitely now that i look at it do a different roof line so maybe we have something that goes like that with staircases not iron of course and then over here we have the roof line go the other way that should probably be good on the roof i'm thinking we'll copy this we'll do cobblestone and we'll do stone brick but on the cobblestone part we'll do like maybe wood or something maybe that might look good the, that's kind of what i'm thinking with the build but i'm not 100 percent sure let's try out the window concept though really quick so upside on staircase right there then oak planks go all the way up all the way across and then we could definitely create an arched window in here with some more staircases something like that that would look pretty good and actually actually i think it looks pretty good i think we're gonna leave that maybe we put a slab up there it'll take away from the arch though so uh, then again i don't know maybe we could even do some banners on the side here to make like uh curtains that might look really really cool now looking at this front area hmm, hmm, hmm let's take a step back and see what it looks like from over here uh yeah actually no no that's gonna look really good we will for sure do that as just a question of do i raise it up one block i might want to do that because this build it has some height to it and having this so low i feel like it's gonna kind of make it look weird so this all gets moved up one block and i think i will actually go ahead and leave these as solid blocks i think solid blocks here are gonna fit the bulkiness of this build a little bit more mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. so there we go we have that right there and then we could even do some carpet on the side there to kind of curve that around or maybe maybe even we curve this around the building oh no big moves are happening big moves are happening right here if you're watching this oh wow yep we're gonna try and curve it around the building for sure for sure for sure how could i even how could i even well then again maybe i won't then again maybe i should chill uh that that might that might look a little weird <laughs> uh, i don't know i don't know i gotta mess with the build a little bit more but that's sort of what i'm thinking so i think it's time for me to go ahead and try and get most of the build in definitely gonna need some more mossy cobblestone there and some more oak planks in here but yeah i think that's a pretty solid plan oh one more thing though in case i didn't say back door on the build over here to access it so we can turn it on now i'm gonna actually leave this thing running while i'm building because i'm not gonna try and commentate over it so the noise won't really be a problem when i come back we should have a lot more bamboo too welcome to arch city we've got an arch on the window we've got an arch above the window we've got an arch on the top of the building arches all over the place and man do they look really really good so the build has progressed quite a bit since you saw it last i've got the roof on it now i've got the outside walls complete i've got a little bit of detailing going on and plants around the building too i'm really happy with the place that this build is in currently so first off the roof i went with a completely different direction i did the cobblestone borders like on that build but then i decided to take the spruce planks from that build over there and do that over here i went ahead and did a little bit more detailing on the roof you know added some more depth in there with blocks and slabs and then i did this fancy little thing on the edge it's not much but i really like it i think it looks really really cool so that's what's up with the roof of the build i think it kind of helps tie all of these builds in this area together now the inside and the side of the build so on the side made the window a little bit more tall think that looks good and on the inside it's nighttime hold up dramatic cliffhanger i know on the front of the build this is what we have right now not too much but it looks good and then the inside of course uh granite looks really really good if if you don't think it looks good you're wrong uh so i decided to put some granite on the ceiling in here and you know like granite looks the rest of the build it all looks good i did a beam in the middle i think that looks pretty cool and then of course we have the zero tick farm in here now to turn the thing on and off i have the door over here that we need to actually put a door inside of i'm not gonna run it anymore though because i've been running it for a long time take a look at that we have this chest uh pretty much full of bamboo here a little bit more there tiny tiny bit more there 
From a ways away, this build actually looks almost even better too, which makes me really, really happy, but it's not quite finished actually. We have a few final touches to put on it. So inside of the build, I have one granite slab that was missing. We'll have to fix that by doing that. That looks good now. So the inside is good up there, but not down here. We'll come back and do that in a second. On the outside, this top area needs uh, some blocks. I obviously don't want it to be open. The blocks, I'm thinking white wool. The white wool will match that build over there. So obviously we're working with a different build palette here. What I'm doing is I'm trying to take blocks from each build in this area and try and, you know, combine it into one build. So we have this part of the roof, you know, like I mentioned, then the roof over there, you know. Basically to make things work, I'm trying to take pieces out of all of the builds that we have in this area and combine them all into one build palette that still looks really, really good. In my opinion, I think it worked out pretty well this time. Up here though, uh, white wool. We'll just go with white wool all the way. Things are gonna get a little weird in here, so we'll fill that in with a slab, and then down here, I, I think this time we'll actually leave it alone. I think it looks good like that. I'll copy it on the other side. Oh yeah, definitely. That's the exact vibe that we're going for. I think that looks really good. By the way, I did make a small change to the ink farm over here. I raised the collection box up just a little bit to make it more accessible. Eventually, I'm thinking boardwalk right here. Am I going to put it in today? Hey, not too sure about that, but boardwalk eventually. So the box is on the level of the boardwalk now. Easy to access. Perfect. Now, the front door. I'm thinking that the front door on this build should be a dark oak door. I think the dark oak door will look really good here. On the back, though, I don't think we want something so fancy. This is more of just a secret, small random entrance so i think if we did something like this then we'd be good but we do have a weird problem with that spot right there so maybe this door should go in here instead i, I think that looks a little bit better on this build for sure that looks good now inside of the build so here's what i'm thinking first off this can get expanded into a double chest that gives us a little bit more storage room then down below this double chest we could do another chest maybe like that and then like that that'll be good then we can do a hopper right there to have all of this bamboo go from this chest down into this one right here then we can go ahead and repeat that one more time do another chest down there and then the same hopper trick to move bamboo even farther down i think three double chests should be way more than enough for the bamboo so we're gonna go ahead and stop there now the floor in here i'm thinking something structured uh when i say structured i think stone blocks smooth stone blocks i think they'll look really good in here and fit the whole vibe of this thing the zero tick farm well it's a machine so we should probably go with some sort of factory flooring smooth stone perfect factory floor We'll go ahead and do smooth stone everywhere across the whole floor in this area. But over here, we have something kind of weird going on. So down here, we'll do more smooth stone. That just kind of makes sense. And down here too, anywhere where I can see dirt, that would be a problem. But the wall, the wall should definitely be stone brick. So I'll just continue the stone brick straight down. We won't really be able to get up to this area over here, but that's not a problem. There's nothing over in this part of the build that I really need anyways. We could go ahead and put a table in here. That would look cool. Maybe another chest for decoration. We could definitely come back in with a lantern and maybe even like a pot with some bamboo in it. That might look really nice in here too. Maybe even a rug too. I think a rug would help fill this entry area up a little bit more. On the outside, on the front, I think I'm going to leave things pretty plain for now until I get the boardwalk in, which I think will be a job for another time. Last but not least, the windows. We need to do something with the windows on this build. Now, these windows are an interesting shape, so I think I'm gonna do something a little bit more interesting. We're actually gonna leave those windows entirely open, at least for now. I'm gonna leave it like that and see how I feel about it, and then maybe if I, if I get bothered by it for some reason, I'll come back in and change it. These windows, black stained glass panes, that'll look good there. But these windows, these will stay open, I think, forever. But to make things a little less open, I think what I'll do is I'll put some slabs on the lower part right here, just like that, so I can't jump in there at, at least as easily. See, I'm not really worried about keeping mobs out of the inside of this building. If I were going AFK over here and letting this farm run, I wouldn't be AFK inside of this building. I'd be AFK inside of the AFK fish farm. So if we just do something like that and have it look good, I'm actually missing a staircase right there, but if we have it look good, then that's all that matters. But big question, banners, what do we think? Our Banner's gonna look good here for curtains. I don't know. Um, because of the fences, I, I would definitely have to remove these. Mm, do we like that? Um, I don't know if I like that. I think that's a little bit too much green. Maybe if I did a different color, it would look good. 
But yeah, I, I'm gonna pass on the banners. I think the fences right there looked a little bit better, so no banners today. Just realized I forgot to do something else under here. This needs a whole lot more support. This banner would not be held up, not at all, if this were real life. So we'll do a little support beam right there with a the fence gate, and then one like that with two more fence gates. See, I really don't want to put another corner post right here. This side is a little bit different because we have this roof line right here. If I put another corner post here, it gets a little bit too cluttered, a little bit too full, a little bit too busy for my liking. This, though, this should definitely continue straight back into the wall. So bamboo right there, couple more fences over here, bamboo right there, zero tick farm inside of this building, back door over here, lever right there, turn it on, oh boy, forgot about that, we're gonna remove that door, and that's a lot of noise, so we're gonna walk away. That is also going to be the end of today's Minecraft guide episode. So, elites, I'm going to actually go ahead and let the zero tick farm run in between episodes. I need a lot more bamboo. Why? Uh, I, I don't really have a clue. It, it, this doesn't segue into anything. I, I promise. I, I just want more bamboo, okay? Big shout out to my patrons Sarah R and Catherine J today. Thank you both so much for the support. If you enjoyed today's episode, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Again, remember that zero tick farms will not work in Minecraft 1.16, so if you want to check them out, check them out in 1.15 or never check them out. Don't build this in the 1.16 update. Uh, but that's all I have to say today. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay fresh. I'll see you in the next episode tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody.